Okay, hello everyone. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Okay, so today we're going to install MAMP. MAMP is the package that's going to allow us to be able to run our PHP script and test uh, and run our PHP project on our computer. So um, don't worry too much about the details of it. We're going to explore it as we learn PHP. But for now, let's install it so we can um, start coding in PHP and, um, and using it. So in order to install it, type in um, or Google install MAMP, M-A-M-P, MAMP. So it should take you to www.mamp.info. Just make sure it's the right website. Um, that's where the download link is. So click on downloads um, and it should take you here. When you go here, you're going to see MAMP and MAMP Pro. Before that, let's talk about what MAMP stands for. So MAMP, M-A-M-P, is a package. Um, it's, a, it's, about, it's multiple things in one and M stands for the operating system though so Mac OS Macintosh um, a stands for Apache Apache is going to be the server the testing server on our local computer our computer we're using right now that's what, that's the server that's going to we're going to use to test our pages and then M it stands for MySQL MySQL is the database that's um, attached to this package and then P will stand for our programming language our scripting language our scripting language so PHP or Python or Perl uh, depending on um, on what language we're using, because they they can, you know, be used. They can all be used for uh, web development. Okay, so you're going to see both MAMP and MAMP Pro. MAMP Pro is the same MAMP, but with premium some premium services. Um, we don't need to go for MAMP Pro. It comes with it when you install it. It comes with MAMP Pro, and I believe it's a trial um, with an option for you to extend it. But all we need is MAMP. Um, to be able to do what we want to do all right so click on MAMP and MAMP Pro and we don't want to try this Nemo DNS app so I'm just gonna click outside of that um, here is the download you can open with install it direct uh, directly or you can save it for further installs um, I've already downloaded this This is going to take a while I've already downloaded this, this is a 450 51 megabytes I'm going to hit cancel because I have it here in my downloads here um, so go ahead make sure you install it um, you download it and then we are going to install actually once it's done in, uh, in in downloading once it's done downloading it's going to launch automatically so I'm going to launch this now and when you launch it now let's go through the installation process so hit continue 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 agree select the hard, hard disk we want to install it on continue install I need to put in my password, so I'm going to do that. This is the password to your computer. So install software. Um, this shouldn't take too long. I believe a few seconds, maximum 30 seconds, I think. Even though it's going to it's going to say three minutes or oh, four minutes, <laughs> it doesn't really take four minutes. It should be done in any moment. Okay, so it's done installing. Um, let's close out of this and. It's asking if we want to move the installation to trash or we want to keep it for you know further installs. So I'm going to move it to trash because if I want a new one, I can always Google it and then download the, the setup again. All right, so once we have it installed, if you open your Finder and you go to Applications, you would see MAMP, the MAMP folder, and MAMP Pro. Again, we don't care too much about MAMP Pro. Uh, what we want is MAMP. So let's open MAMP. And inside of MAMP, you're going to see a bunch of folders and files. We don't care about them now. Let's not get overwhelmed with them. We're going to explore them as we use um, MAMP and as we learn PHP. But for now, what I want you to pay attention to, I want you to pay attention to a few things. So I want you, what I want you to first pay attention to is this folder, htdocs. All right. So htdocs is where we're going to keep all our, or store all our PHP scripts and you know folders our project we're going to keep it all in this folder why because we will be able to test um, correctly our project if we put it here if we put it anywhere else on our computer we won't be able to uh, test our dynamic pages if we create a, a project with a database attached to it uh, that has a, a user data users data database where people can sign up log in if you create a project like that and you want to be able to test on your computer with PHP it's it's not you're not going to be able to easily do it unless you have a package um, or tools like MAMP 
to help you do it. And in order for us to properly test it, we need to put it in this folder. This folder is going to act as our testing server. Um, because if we build a project and we are ready to take it live and launch it, we are going to use a service like godaddy.com or a service like namecheap.com to be able to host it. Um, there we'll be able to see everything live online. But to be able to test it properly on our computer before we even launch it live, we need a tool like MAMP. And inside of this folder is where we need to keep our folders in order to properly view them and properly test them. All right, so pay attention to htdocs. All right, now once you install MAMP, um, you can launch it from here, right? In the applications folder, you can open this and launch it from here, this icon. Once you, or you, when you go to your quick launch, you can also do a search for MAMP and you can launch it from here, not MAMPRO. We don't care about MAMPRO, we care about MAMP. You can launch it from here as well. Or you can do a hit command space to open Spotlight Search, and then you can type in MAMP, uh, and then it should pop up. We don't care about MAMPRO, we care about MAMP, and you can launch it from there. So I'm going to launch it from here. Um, okay, so here, that's the interface. Uh, again, a few things I want us to pay attention to. So htdocs is one, and this is how the interface looks like. All right, so let's start with the version here. So the version that it's using for this install is 7.4.12. That's the PHP version. It comes with all the versions as well. Uh, PHP 8 got released not too long ago, and PHP 8 is the latest as I speak. You can switch to it. It's very new, so it has uh, features that are um, very, very new features, basically. Uh, if you actually switch to it, it's going to tell you that PHP 8 is a major update of PHP. It cuts off old pigtails and throws away lots of obsolete code. So basically, it makes things better. It cuts away uh, code that you don't necessarily need. Now, it doesn't mean that if you switch to or if you keep it selected at, um, at 7.4.12, it's things are not going to work. Things are going to work still. Uh, generally, it's a good idea to always use the latest edition of PHP. Um, but I think there's a reason why it's stuck with 7.4.12 because PHP 8 is pretty new. And don't worry, once we start building applications, we're going to use the latest, you know, PHP 8 most likely, or or whatever latest version there is. But for now, let's use 7.4.12 for learning purposes. There isn't a lot of difference between 7.4.12 and 8 except the, the new uh, features they've added to, to make things a bit easy. <clears throat> okay, um, so 7.4.12, let's pay attention, let's make sure we pay attention to that. Um, but generally, again, you want to use the latest feature features. All right, so let's pay attention to that. Uh, notice this htdocs folder over, over here also, it's at document root over here. It says you, our document root is applications, memp, htdocs. So this is the folder. Um, where our document root is. So the document root is again what, where we want to what, what we want to pay attention to, where we want to keep all our projects and files. By default, it's set to that. And we can also see local host as well here. So let's pay attention to that. Um, all right, one more thing. Let's open a browser and then try to navigate to this folder here. Right to navigate to this document root folder, um, local host. Um, we type in localhost this year, localhost colon 8888. 8888 is our port number. All right, so once we navigate to this URL, it's going to say unable to connect, and that's and that's fine. It's saying unable to con connect because, again, what we are trying to do is we're trying to connect to this folder. We're trying to see what's in this folder on the browser so we can test our pages. We currently have nothing there. But even by going there, it's telling us unable to connect. That's because in other, uh, for you to be able to um, view files in your testing server correctly, you need to be able to st start all the services, start start your service, and um, start any services that accompany it. So over here, it's saying start, stop service. So let's start it. When you hit start, uh, it takes a few seconds for it to turn on uh, or start the server, <clears throat> the testing server for us to be able to properly test our files once it it turns on it's going to it's going to turn green so let's just give it a few seconds for it to do its thing um let's just see 
there we go all right so it's green it's, you know it's telling us that um, it started to sever so now if we try to navigate to this htdocs folder from the URL by going from the web, uh, browser by typing in localhost colon 8888 which is the port number and I refresh this page it now takes me to a page and it says index off I don't see anything because over here in this folder there's nothing there so that's how we'll be able to navigate to this htdocs folder and be able to test our live dynamic websites without this testing server if you try to open your live our live our, our dynamic websites or projects we built we won't be able to properly use it okay so, so far so good again don't worry too much about everything I just want us to now exp like to exploring and start to get a feel of how, how all this works okay so I want us to do a few things let's open brackets let's open brackets and create a file in this folder okay so let's navigate to this folder let's go to file in browser and um, brackets open folder and we're going to navigate to applications we're going to navigate to memp or is it where is it uh, memp <laughs> and then htdocs that's what we want to navigate to um, as a matter of fact you're going to be using this htdocs so much it's it's going to be helpful for us to create the shortcut somewhere around here but for now let's not to, let's not worry too much let's open this folder and inside of this folder we see there's nothing in there Right? there's nothing in there let's create a file in there um, so file new and then let's save this file as test let's make sure we're saving it in the htdocs folder as test.php make sure the extension is .php and then hit save all right don't worry about this error message um, I know why I'm getting it you most likely won't get it so don't worry <laughs> uh, it's just it's me um, and it's not a problem don't worry so the file is here we've, we've saved it test.php all right so type in here exactly as I type I'm going to type in <clears throat> sorry an opening angle bracket a question mark and then the, the letters PHP PHP this is the opening tag of a PHP we're saying we're we're saying that hey I'm about to type in some PHP all right hit enter and then or hit a few uh, returns and then type in a question mark and then a closing angle bracket now this is the closing tag of a PHP of a P, like of PHP and do not worry about all this we're going to learn everything about PHP but for now I want want us to see a few things about the testing server map and how we can set, set up properly so we have our opening PHP tag and we have our closing PHP tag everything we tie everything that's going to be PHP that we work with or type is going to go in between PHP tag we're saying open PHP we're about to type in some PHP we're done with PHP everything goes in between so because of that I can even put it on one line and everything goes in between the opening PHP tag and then the closing PHP tag all right in between that type in echo and then an opening parentheses and a closing parentheses brackets is very nice that if you type in an opening parentheses it closes it for you it puts the closing parentheses for you if that's not what you like you can go ahead and delete it but it's nice enough to do it for you and then I'm going to put a semicolon at the end of it now in between the opening parentheses I'm going to type in PHP info and then an opening parentheses and a closing parentheses right so we're going to learn again everything about PHP. Do not worry about what we're typing. I want, want you to type along so we learn a few things about you know the whole experience of using MEMP and making sure we're properly set up. All right, so after you've made sure that you've typed it correctly, save it, Command S. If we actually go to our htdocs folder, we, we will see that this file is in there test.php. If you actually single click on this file and hit the space bar to preview what's in there, not open it, but preview it we can see that everything we typed is in there all right now if we go to our if we try to navigate to this folder our HD docs document root folder and refresh we're going to see this test.php in there um, notice in the file we typed in PHP info this is a special command the actual term for it is a function but think of it as a special command that tells us all the information we want 
uh, all the information about our server, right? So I'm going to click on test.php and it's going to tell us all the information we want we need to know about our server. Notice that the version PHP version is 7.4.12. Uh, right? That's exactly what we saw here. 7.4.12. So there's a lot of information here. We don't need to focus, you know, focus on everything now, but there are a few things I want us to pay attention to. The first thing I want us to pay attention to is display errors. If you do a find command F and you do a find for display underscore errors. This is what I'm looking for. You would notice that it's turned off. Local value is off, master value is off. They are all off. We need to make sure this is on so that when we are writing our PHP script and we have an error, we, we know exactly what's wrong. And so in order to do that, we're going to go to finder, memp, and inside memp, we want to pay attention to this folder, bin. In, in bin, we want to navigate to PHP. We want to select our version, which is 7.4.12. Whatever version you have selected is what you want to make sure you have, you're going to, you're going to go into. So we're going to go into 7.4.12. We're going to go to conf, just pay attention to the, these folders, conf for configuration. And then what we're looking for is php.ini. This php.ini file contains all our configuration settings. Uh, some of the things we see here on this page and so I can see it's going to open with brackets I'm going to double click it to open it with brackets again there's a lot of things here just be careful this file don't change anything in here if you don't know what you're doing but this is where we're going to change or turn on display errors uh, so that we see exactly what you know when we're wrong all right so do a command F command F for display underscore errors it's going to take you somewhere around here. You want to hit enter a few times until you get to this one here. These semicolons in front of these lines are comments. And so if there isn't a semicolon in front of something, that means it's active. Like it's actually working, it's actually taking effect. Mm -hmm. So we can see over here that display errors is turned to off. And we want to just we change it. We, we just delete these two Fs and then change it to um on right so by typing on so display errors change it to on and then we save it command s make sure you save it otherwise it wouldn't take effect now we're going to close this uh, not, not close it. let's just navigate back to our, our map anytime you make a change in your configuration anytime you make a change in your settings you want to make sure that you restart your servers so for this to really take effect we need to restart this so I'm going to hit stop and then start that's how you restart it just stop and start it. and so to stop it i need to type in my password this is the password of my computer itself wait wait for it to stop and then i'm going to start it so now I'll just wait for it to start for the changes to take effect all right so i've done that now when i go to the same page focus here on display errors let's focus here we're going to once we refresh we're going to see that it's going to change to on now display errors has changed to on so that's what we want. There are a few things we can change. Uh, um, we don't necessarily need to focus on that now, but display errors is key. I want us to pay attention to that. Um, so do everything we've done. Uh, it's going to set you up for exactly what you know what we need to do in order to learn PHP. Um, if you have any questions, of course, I'm always here to do everything I can to help you. So post down below, and I'll, I'll do everything to help you. Um, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time in the next video. All right then, bye-bye.